Shut up and sit down. Hey you skellywags. Today we're doing a sneak peek and unboxing of a few figures I got from Toys Alliance recently. Some I've opened up. This one, Celine Raider. This is the box. This is an underrated figure, I'd say. I don't see enough people giving it praise. But very solid. We'll make room here. Here we have Selena self. Very good head sculpt here. One that I don't think we've seen besides this one. I think it's in the Eliza figure coming up. But one of the few of the stealth team that is still available from Peer Club. So if you have been on the fence about this figure, go and grab one from there while you still can. Don't know what those attachments are there on the back for. But yeah, I think she's one of the best uh, female bucks. Look, the legs here. No gappy uh, minge. It's quite nice, look. Fully armoured up, really. Or well, not armoured up, but fully clothed. I would recommend her. Next up, we have... Maelstrom Trooper. This fella was in my pile of loot on BBTS for quite a while, with only a few days to ship. So I decided to ship him, along with my uh, crouching alien figure from here. Now this, I missed out on the uh, marine infantry figure back in the day. So this guy here, this is the secondary helmet he has, looks, the face at least, looks exactly like that figure. When I used to think of Acid Rain back in the day, that Marine Infantry figure was what I used to, to think of. That immediately would come to mind. I'm gutted that I never managed to get the original, but at least there's this release anyway. It looks somewhat like him. A good army builder, got different parts there. You can make him look a bit different. Right. And the next one, the War Correspondence Set. This I've had my eye on for quite a bit. Primarily for customs. But I like uh, the look of these guys. Two pack set. There we go. I do like how they come with these different accessories. Not usual guns and stuff like that. I think they should do more civilian type figures and just different variations. It just adds a bit more to the universe you're building. No crate for these guys. You could have packaged the other double sets like this they released recently as well. Nicely secured. There's this guy. The accessories there. We'll just take a look at the figure for now though. Let's get him out. So the accessories this comes with, you could potentially have like four different looking figures. There's this stuff there. Because uh, you could have sort of the different looks if you mix and match and utilize the other bits that come with it. that way right so this guy first Ooh, he looks a lot better than I uh, thought he would I like that gas mask I've not seen that before in anyone I like that mohawk too yeah I wonder if you get that knife out no maybe just for show no go yeah it's got some exposed skin it's trainers a lot of people go on about the uh, exposed skin thing and I like to think that maybe the weather is not as harsh anymore or maybe we've evolved to be able to take the harsher surroundings. 
All right, this guy, his head looks like he could be a ninja or something. Be good for a custom. He's got shorts, look at that, his uh, legs have been battered from the acid rain. Yeah, nice little uh, set there. Brand new, it's Papalotl from Acid Rain. I've been looking forward to this one. Really like the look of this figure. The armor, the helmet, colors, all look awesome. Look at that. Love that baby blue. Still don't know if that's the way you pronounce it. It's Papalotl. Yeah, really not sure. This baby blue crate. Very different. Uh, this one's stuck a bit. Ooh. There she is. With accessories. There's stuff. We'll look into that later. Here's the figure. Right, so let's have a look at you. Yeah. Really liking this newer wood in person. She looks amazing. Look at that design. It's this new exo skeleton suit she's got for the legs and arms and that that are different. This visor bit comes off. Let's have a look at you. Right. Ooh. That is a really good... Uh, really good paint apps on the face there. Very good. Yeah. Cover it up though. But that looks amazing. Yeah, from the story, she's like some warrior, some renowned warrior. Gotta check up on what the name means. Really liking this design, though. Bit pricey, though. Don't know if it's worth the price of admission, but for me, yeah, obviously I bought it, so. Annex 2179. Eliza. This was another, I immediately loved the design. Colours on it as well, just seemed to pop there, look at that. Loving Annex 2179 so far, what they've uh, released. I think maybe Esba and Bloodsbane were... And then, you know, Bloodsbane I like quite a bit. But they were the weakest link, I think, so far. There, look at that. Primarily uh, hero buck, I believe. Oh, it's coloured is uh, good though. Look at that head sculpt. Basically the Celine head, I believe. Looks like it. But just painted differently from that. Looks very different though. Nice job. I'll look into that in more detail in the full review. We'll take a look at the figure straight out of the box though. Here she is. Wonder if she's uh, exactly the same as Hero. Seems a bit limited there. That head sculpt though, that helmet. Very unique. Reminds me of a figure, not figure, character from, uh, is it Mass Effect? Or is it Halo? One of the two. Anyway, it has this kind of alien look about it, which I really like. Very difficult to decide between the two head sculpts, which one I want to have on it. But, yeah. It's not a bad thing when you're spoilt for choice. These feet grown to like I'm not too fussed about them now I think it actually 
helps with uh, posing and things like that. This seems a bit, yeah, I don't know. Not as articulated on that torso bit. But yeah, we'll go into that in the full review, which I'll be doing of Eliza and It's Pebble Lottle, definitely. The others, not too sure. Let me know if uh, you do want to see videos of those, or maybe I'll do different types of videos. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. More videos to come. And I'll scale you later.